Francis, we just figured out that you've been with us for three years now, and when we look back at the photos, I see, I see what I thought was an 11-year-old, but we just realized that you were 13. There's nothing wrong with that. But look at, look at where you are now. Strapping young 16-year-old dude who's grown probably four, like five inches, and we just realized that he put on 20 kg. Of course, bony structure and connected tissue grows, but a lot of that is good, healthy muscle. And just wondering, what are what's some of your takeaways from reflecting back on where you were when you started and where you are now? It was really, really surreal because we picked up um, like I put on 20 kilos, and we picked up the like just the weight it's it's so strange and um, I don't know it's really different because I feel like when I started my technique was really different um, so I've learned a lot of the I don't know like the soft skills so like today we saw how my hip hinge was yeah. in like deadlifts and stuff like that hip hinge if you don't know what a hip hinge is this, this is where we start with a lot of people not just young kids but the ability to understand where your hips are in space pretty much so this gentleman which you might see uh, is deadlifting he's deadlifting heavier now and that leads me to kind of ask the next point of do you feel safe when you are training yeah I mean um, do you feel unsafe ever there is some risk there is some risk that what we're doing there's risk what this guy's doing walking down the street on his cell phone <laughs> I feel like there's a lot less risk now that I know how to do everything. I can still, like, when we did the, um, I'd say the only time when I actually felt risk was when we were doing the bench press. Today. And I was just, not today, um, oh, it was coming down. Oh, the barbell. Like, yeah. the, we, um, we were doing uh, negatives with him to help him understand just kind of how to try hard. Uh, that's not something that we do a lot of, but it, see... It's it's at danger. There is elements of danger in this, but of course, when you have somebody uh, like myself with them and making sure that they're doing things safely, uh, that danger is is controlled. But yes, I know what you're talking about. I remember that day. I feel like it's really different because when when you're in the um, what's it like the circuit space, um, okay. and we're focusing on. It's like the stuff group like, class yeah. area, yeah. When you're doing stuff like cardio and skips. Athletic, um, athletic rhythm. It's different to being out in the gym because you're learning different things like, I don't know, balance. Um, sure. Well, you're, you're learning how to, you're getting your brain and your body more. Um, and then you apply that mind-muscle connection in your athleticism. Safe to say? Yeah. What are you doing now more of now than you think you would have done if you didn't do any strength training strength how is how is your life as a 16 year old francis versus a francis who never would have touched a weight i think really different because my mind is in anything whenever i do anything like even if i'm just standing up from this i'm engaging um like my core and my legs and everything and i feel like i wouldn't have as much of a mental connection um, if I hadn't started picking up weights. Yeah. And you just told me that your friends are wanting you to come to the gym at 7 a.m. before school, which mm. it's not going to be easy for you. It's School's kind of far away, but you said you'll find a way. What that means to me is you feel like you can step in there with, with other guys and, mm -hmm. and probably show them how to do it a little bit. Or let's just say witness what kids who don't have, a, have an awareness to... Uh, let's say how to do moves well and how to generate pressure and force you'll see that you'll see that won't we you? even see it here like <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know it feels like when people go into it really ambitious which isn't a bad thing but they don't actually have a connection with their mind they're just doing the exercise to do it mm -hmm. so that they can get something out of it nice and the way I see you, you'll probably grow another two inches in the next two years. You look like you're way taller than me. <laughs> you feel like you are. But you're going to put on another probably 10 pounds of muscle in the next two years, which that'll put you at like 75 kg going into, going into university like a stud. I love what I do. Francis, any final words? I don't know. No, I don't think so.
He doesn't think so. Thank you for listening. And I can't wait to interview your kid here in two years when he can... Oh, okay, just put a flex on it. Just put a flex. Just flex. Just flex for us. Like the inside. Come on, you know how to do it. This one. Yep. Now that... Here. Okay, we'll cut that out. Here. <laughs> Figure it out. Figure it out. Show it. Show it. I'll show it. Turn it. Turn it hard. Turn it hard. This way. This yep. way? Now show the camera. Yep. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs>